Fig tree. Hey, good morning. Hey, how's it going? Welcome hey. to Coleman Tyler. Thank you very much. You know, a friend of mine had referred me to your uh, shop. He said that uh, you guys have a, a huge stock of pretty much everything, and what you don't have, you can get quickly. And he said uh, that your prices are more than fair. Yeah, our, our main thing here is uh, to build custom AR-15s. We definitely have the lowest prices when it comes to that. Um, but we also carry a, an assortment of different accessories for it, including uh, optics, flashlights, lasers, and we also have tasers, um, tactical gear, whatever you need. So Very we try nice. and have the best prices. We sell in all 50 states, so we're pretty competitive when it comes to that. So you obviously sell online as well. Yeah, we sell uh, sell in all 50 states, definitely. Okay. You know what, I'm looking for a particular kind of gun. I'm going to be going out in the desert, and a friend of mine suggested that I should get a half-decent snake gun. Yeah. And he recommended a Taurus, uh, the Judge, I believe it is. Oh, the Judge, yeah. And I actually have one of those right here. Oh, very um, good. Yeah, this is uh, called the uh, Taurus Judge. It's a 45 long colt or a 410, so it's it's pretty cool. It's a 389.95, so it's definitely a, a great value. It's the polymer one, too, so it's a little bit lighter. Um, and it's it's great to have around in case you know you might run into some problems there with a the snake or or even for a personal defense gun a, in the home. I'm pretty amazed at how light it is. Uh, yeah. Will this have like a lot of recoil? It's definitely going to have a kick to it. You know, I mean, it's it's a smaller it's a smaller gun. It doesn't have a lot of a grip, but it's it's uh definitely has the uh, shock absorbing rubber on here. Yeah, so it's kind of a neat thing. You get a, get yourself a firm grip, and you're you're definitely going to be able to make the shot if necessary. You know. Okay. So how much is this again? Uh, three eighty nine ninety five. Uh, out the door, if you wanted to do that one, you'd be looking at uh, 424.26. Okay, you know what? Uh, I think I'll take it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, let me just grab you a 44.73. Okay. Um, and while I'm doing that, if you could get out your uh, driver's license and a concealed weapons permit if you have it. Well, you know, actually, uh, I do have both of those, but uh, I didn't bring either one with me. But I guess the good news is I do have it uh, on my Facebook account. Uh, we can go over to your computer, and you can pull it offline, print out a copy, and hopefully you can use that. Well, the problem is is I, I really need a physical ID for me to be able to uh, allow you to take the gun home. You know, the, the problem is, is that the federal uh, government requires that you have a driver's license uh, of some description, you know, especially, essentially one from this state. You know, right, so if you right. have a Arizona driver's license, I, I can take a copy of that, is what we usually do, and uh, have you fill this out. Then I go on the FBI NICS website, and I do a background check. If you have a concealed weapons permit, you know, uh, I can basically bypass that because the background check has already been done. They have your fingerprints and all that. Well, let me ask you a question. If you were to go on my Facebook account, you could print off both of those uh, required documents. And how would that be any different than if you made a photocopy of my documents? Well, the problem is, is that it's easily to forge documents when it comes uh, to doing things online. You know, you have Photoshop. There's a lot of ways. Without me physically having it in my hands. Okay, so um, you need an original. I need the original. You know, it's like a birth certificate or, or something. You know, it has to have the seal on there in order for me to do anything. Um, and that's the that's just standard operating procedure when it comes to this. Because I don't really want to go to federal prison um, for something as uh, stupid as that. I mean, it, I really yeah. got to have that. Here. I guess with with all the fast and furious uh, news that's going on, uh, they probably tightened up a little. Yeah, bit. we got we got to step things up a notch, you know, uh, as far as like being aware of, of the type of people that come through here. But um, you know, at the same time, um, it's like I said, just standard operating procedure. So. All right. Well, let me go get it, and uh, I'll 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 be back. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Yeah.